Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Uh, well, this looks familiar. That's because it probably is. A couple months ago, we went ahead and pulled a few stumps out of this area, and um, they're in the main area. Uh, today, we're coming back because, as you can see here, we got a nice uh, blue colored stump, two of them there, and then there's one more right in there. There. Yeah, there. We're going to go ahead and pull these three stumps as well. Uh, I'm going to set you up on time lapse today because, well, You've seen this before, I did little snippets and I've been playing with the camera, so I think I got the time lapse down. So we'll see if we can make a short video out of a long day. But, uh, give you an idea. I think this is an ash tree, and it's about mm, 14, 15 inches that way, and probably every bit of 20 inches that way. So this is going to be a challenge for my little uh, B2650 with my BH77 backhoe, but we will make it work. So let me go ahead and uh, get the tractor offloaded and we'll see what kind of a mess we can, oh, while well, I'm thinking of it. If you look uh, right over my shoulder, I don't know if you can see it, but heading towards that trailer right about where the tire is on this side of that hay wagon, the sewer line runs right through here. Well. My foot is basically on it, and our stump is over here. It's hard to see from this angle. There we go. So we've got Is that better? Not really. So right here, I'm holding this up. I probably should do a longer distance one. But basically right here is the sewer line, right there is the stump. We don't want to hit the sewer line. And this is an assumption on my part because this is a little lower area and it goes straight over to the leach field, which is behind that white trailer. Let's not hit that. I don't want to be playing with poopy water today. Well, I guess this is going to be a more interesting video than I thought. Now if you look, see that wet spot? That is all hydraulic fluid. And I am not 100% sure from where. So, let me do some digging. Yay! Well, Unfortunately, I don't have my, uh, well, I have a small crescent wrench about this big, which isn't enough to break loose that hydraulic fitting. I know what line's broke, but now i got to run back to the house and grab a, uh, grab a wrench or two, get the hydraulic line off. Then i got to go find a store that can make one up for me. Joys of owning equipment. Got to love it. through the sleeve.
didn't realize the blends were so crummy. All right, well, $54, new hose. Let's go ahead and uh, see if it fits. We're gonna put the sleeve on it first because we don't want to install it twice. tractor's all back together the camera is overheated and died so let's go ahead and uh, go back to time lapse and move the camera into the shade In the process of editing this video, I realized that I had neglected to film an outro. Uh, as you can tell, it got dark. I was able to finish it up. I couldn't do after shots, sorry. But I was able to get it done, which is important. Um, I was tired. It's good to be tired every once in a while. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and even though I didn't do very good on the outro, words is hard. We'll see you on the next one.
Bye-bye.